So you want to make a fursona to express yourself online, huh? Well, I got the guide for you. Open up your photo editor of choice, slap down a PNG- ah! Slap down a transparent PNG of your favorite Pokemon, and we'll begin making your very own Pokesona. Holy crap! It's mine! I made this! Original character, do not steal! How can I make this any better? I... I got you! Huh. Neat. Yeah, so as a heads up, this is actually part two of a video I did about a year ago. Gugh, that video quality. So, if you want to see part one, click here! Otherwise, enjoy the video. Ah, uh, Poké Sodas. The poor man's persona with 70% less hate attached. Since Pokémon are universally loved, it's hard to be made fun of for using them, making them easy targets for original characters. I mean, why be a blue dog when you can be a blue dog? When making a new OC, it's always good to start with the base image, so I decided to use a Meowth. Now, this Meowth is cool, but it needs some personality, so I decided to look for smug bastards. I mean, cats are already smug, so it's not that hard. And last but not least, we need an aesthetic. So I decided to drop in these coffee stains. And trust me, I sound nuts, but... You're gonna love my nuts. Watch this. Here's a potato. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Two slaps, home fries in a second. And look at this. When you add a mushroom, the more you do it, the finer it gets. You have to switch any blades. And bippity boo, boppity bam, one fresh OC. Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. Throw them in a to-go box, and we're done with our first customer. Let's make a Pokemon Fusion Sona. So you know that generator that takes two existing Pokemon and blend them together? Well, feast your eyes on this one. We got a Slowpoke and a Vulpix. But to spice things up, I enlisted the help of my local avocado toast-eating stoner friend, Todd, to contribute a little of his secret seasonings. Drop those in, Todd! And we're gonna blend Pokemon. I think I'll press the super effective button. Yeah. Woo! Pokey smoke. Don't breathe this. And what do we get? Ooh. But look at you. Hmm. So, what if we took Gengar and made it horny? Oh dear. Ah, uh, Umbreon. Quite the classic. Honestly, I don't want to change much, so I thought I'd go for the tried and true method of adding some anime schoolgirl DNA. School books, whatever the heck this baka thing is. And I'm gonna skip the huge tits today and keep it wholesome. One outfit later, and ta-da! Sure, the design is a little basic, but once you see her in the Amores DLC, I guarantee you'll be a simp. Let's see it purple. Yeah! <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I love me some low funny, and not because of all the easy innuendos I can make. First thing to do is to make her nice and long. Then you grab a PNG of Say You from NSR, a really good game by the way, and slap on those beautiful aquatic cosmic colors. Just throw it all over, go crazy with it. And what do we get? Ha! Bam! Adorable! Regardless, this is a beautiful design. I wish I owned this. <laughs> and we do the same thing with Brakeson. Huh. Throw down some pizza, slap on some glasses, and there we go. And hey, when in doubt, Make it red! And that, my friends, is how you make your very own Pokesona. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching the video, and I'd like to thank my patrons, Ninja Star, Wolf Mama, Nonsensical Fox. Thank you all for supporting the show.